We've been cleared for landing. In this episode, we take you on a tour of our crib, along with taking a stroll through Little Paris, and we show you the beautiful views of Hotter Piersport Dam. You slept in again. Let me get out. Good morning, everyone. We are awake. Oh, you come out to join me. Yeah. No I animals this cold. morning. It's dark. Oh, it's so nice. <sighs> okay, so the plan is today, sorry, I'm walking on thorn grass here, is we're gonna have some breakfast quickly. I'll make some here. And then we're gonna take a drive into town, Hottie's town. Maybe go to the the tunnel. Go check what's happening today. So that's the plan and we're going to get going now. Okay, so we've made it now to Hotter Beer Sport Dam. Okay so guys, so this is Hearty, also known as Hotter Beer Sport. So for people in Johannesburg and Victoria, it's kind of a central place to just get away from the city vibes. Um, it's so beautiful, you can go on a river cruise, um, there's a cable car that also goes up to one of the mountains. We unfortunately can't do any of that because of the pandemic. So we are just being tourists in our own country. <laughs> so they started building this dam in 1902 but because of interruptions it was only finished in 1930. There's one way going in and one way going out so it's like a, a robot sort of thing that monitors how many cars go in and out. And yeah, this is such a nice holiday destination for like weekends away. So, welcome to Hotter Beer Squirt. Now what's a bit of a shame here is you got it all beautiful on the one side with the uh, waterfall going there and this side has just been let go. You know, it's like this, I don't know what you call it, like a like water grass type of thing but the amount of trash here is actually just disgusting. Uh, look at the state of that, that's uh, just terrible. So either it's because of lockdown that they've just let this go. I don't understand how people are actually littering here when you can't actually chill here. So I'm actually very confused. Okay, so we're going to go and walk through the tunnel. If we don't get knocked over by a car first. In the dark tunnel. Here you go. Obviously it looks, um, it's not as dark. It's darker than what it seems now. We obviously just brighten it up. Now we're coming out to the other end. And again, we're looking at all the shit here. We're just on that side. Oh, no, it's disgusting. But guys, it is so beautiful here. Like, um, it's like such holiday vibes. And then there was light. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, he needs car guards over here. Eh? So you pay car insurance and you get car guards. So. Thank you, car guards. Cool. How much money are you giving the car guards? 10 SA dons. Thank you. Okay, that was very nice. Um, I don't, we couldn't get such great footage, obviously, because yeah, it's quite I difficult. think a little disappointing with uh, the state of uh, the dam with all yeah. that litter. So we travelled far and wide and now we are at Paris or we in, are in Paris. In Paris.
So we just got here to Little Paris to have just a little cool drink or something. And what's so cool is because of the social distancing story that they don't give you a menu. You actually scan the menu with the phone. So So you do you take that and then you scan it with your phone and then you click on the web page and then it takes you to the to their menu. How cool. So we are in lovely Paris. Got a chocolate milkshake. Coke. So yeah, we're just gonna chill ya um, and watch everyone just <laughs> We're gonna Flocking. chill here and watch everybody. Everyone put locks on here as it's supposed to be like a bit of a good luck thing. So when in Paris you have to have a chocolate croissant. Look how nice they've decorated this. They've got icing sugar with the Eiffel Tower, some flowers. We've been cleared for landing. So on this episode of Cribs, let me take you around. Now we have our dining room. That is our bar area. That's our cooking station. We've got our crackery and crockery, gas stove. We've got our bar fridge. Come inside, come follow me. We have our living room. <sighs> Breathing the fresh African air. And then if we move two steps, you're in the bedroom. <laughs> and then you just step over here. And then we are in the bathroom. This is basically clamping at its best. Over here, we have the toilet. I'm trying to make it look very glamorous. And over here, we have the shower. We have where we make breakfast in the mornings. This is where we had lots of bras. And guys, look at that view. How amazing. Okay, so it's our last night here. We're gonna have some sundowners and soak up our asthma. And make the most of it. So if you are interested in interested in ever coming here, it's roughly about an hour's drive. How long is it gonna be? <laughs> an hour. <laughs> it's about an hour's drive from Joburg. Uh, so it's not far and you know from you know Gauteng to here, northwest province. It's a huge difference from flat, flat to a bit of you know, hilly mountains. Just more happening, I suppose. And it was 950 rand a night. Yes. Um, Self catering, so you bring everything. They give you cutlery, crockery, towels, linen, all of that. So the only thing you basically needed to bring was your food and your clothes. So we were on our way back from Hearties as Africa. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man.
and Kelby fancied to stop in somewhere for breakfast. Okay, so we just got our breakfast at the Dockside Cafe, which is overlooking this. The dam. It overlooks a, a golf course, the mm -hmm. dam. The golf course is Sandy Lane. The dam is still hearties. I haven't gone through a new dam. <laughs> Cappuccino. Y Coca Cola. Y Coca Cola. Okay, leave us alone to eat now. Bye. Ah, how is it? This is amazing. So good. For mine, let's be honest, it's quite difficult to go bacon and eggs, so <laughs> mine's bacon and eggs. So that's breakfast smashed. Now we're going to go for a little stroll around here, walk off our breakfast. The footage is a bit wobbly because it's with a cell phone. Okay, so thanks for watching our little impromptu tour of Sandy Lane here at Todd Beer Sports. Now we're gonna get on the road, head home. Colby's got a lot of washing and ironing to do and she needs to get head start. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Ring the bell. <laughs> Ring <laughs> the bell. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. One love. Water coming out. Only a little bit though. Everyone's flocking to Mini Eiffel Tower. Flocking? What's the word? Everyone is flocking, yeah. Like birds flock, people flock to something. Or not? No, no. <laughs> Chicken is now done. Uh, sorry I didn't give you my Gordon Re Ramsay rep. What's wrong with you? Okay, so the chicken is done now. Sorry I didn't uh, show you my Gordon Ramsay recipe. You're not going to see a thing. I look like I'm a miner. When I say minor, I mean someone who goes digging for gold, not a minor like a little child. Then again, maybe I'm a little child at times. So I'm going to have to cook very, very fucking quick together now. Very fucking quick. Fucking quick. So. Hey, I'm a miner again. Look mm -hmm. at me, I look like I've got dumbbell ears. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna be able to cook nice. We'll soon find out. We'll see, see you on the next one. One love. Oh, where's that camera? Where's it? Oh. <laughs>